Good morning, friends. Stephen Benu with Israeli News Live. I want to just give you guys a quick update of what's happening right now as we speak in Jerusalem. I've gotten two reports directly from Jerusalem this morning already that Jerusalem is under missile attack as we speak right now. <clears throat> the Iron Dome has intercepted uh, eight incoming missiles. Uh, the percussions, uh, as uh, one friend of ours, I don't want to disclose names at this time here, uh, shared with me just moments ago. Uh, also, uh, a second friend that lives in Jerusalem there also confirming that Israel is under rocket attack in Jerusalem. Uh, also through Israeli intel, I found out that the airport is closed for uh, civilian traffic, that right now the only thing that's coming in and out is bringing back uh, military uh, soldiers and families that are abroad right now. They're working on trying to bring them in. The largest call up of Israel uh, military, former military in the history of the country has, has actually taken, taken place now. Uh, those of you that didn't catch the short that I posted just moments ago and that short there, I did uh, update, uh, share the updates that we're getting out of Israel about the death toll, the death toll of civilians uh, including civilian and military in Israel, has now topped 800. And, uh, of course, one of my great, greatest concerns in this escalation, especially knowing, uh, as we have uh, shared in our video yesterday with you, that the situation in Israel was, uh, this whole Hamas attack was a coordinated effort. Uh, that took place and could not have taken place without the foreknowledge of Israeli intelligence. Uh, I just got in word also late last night from another intel source out of the Middle East saying that Israel is so embedded in Hamas with, uh, with uh, spies inside the organization, it would have been absolutely impossible for Israel not to know that there was an attack coming. Uh, we shared with you also uh, a former IDF uh, Israeli uh, commander, a uh, young woman that was shared in the video that we did yesterday on here on Israeli News Live, her actually speaking about that a cockroach couldn't come under that fence without them knowing about it. So this still leads to a lot of concerns as to why, who was involved, who allowed this uh, situation to happen and of course, as we know, my wife has pointed out, this is totally against any rules of war to attack the civilian population, but yet the civilian population is what actually was targeted. And it almost seems to me that that was done intentionally. And if you think about it, you're looking at the civilian population uh, that is predominantly uh, very much against the uh, Netanyahu's coalition for this judicial reform. So you cannot help but wonder if this is not a way uh, in order to try to help garner that support, rally the Israeli people, because the Israeli people are going to rally, uh, you know, behind Israel in order to uh, overthrow Hamas after this uh, tragedy that has happened. But uh, very few, though, I think, are really paying attention to uh, who caused it, how it happened, how did the weapons get there uh, in the first place in the hands of Hamas. But, uh, but, but yet there are many Israelis that are speaking out about that already. Uh, if you, in fact, if you know of anybody that is sharing that type of information that we can get a better handle on what's going on and how that this was known, the Israeli people need <clears throat> to be able to, uh, the Israeli people really need to be able to uh, call the hand on the government because, in, in reality, this is what has caused such a major calamity in the Middle East there. And, and believe me, when I say these things, I am definitely not underestimating Iran's involvement. We know that Iran also, uh, they had uh, gotten weapons from uh, the Ukrainians. They bought them on the black market. They were, they were also helping Hamas uh, to be able to carry out the strikes, making sure they got the weapons in. But somebody inside of Israel had to allow these things to be smuggled in. Uh, you know, there's just no way it could have just got in just, just by chance. And so, but yes, Iran definitely is involved. Uh, no doubt there is some collusion where Russia would be concerned as well. Like we've said before, Putin, he's not the savior of the world as some people think. You have to remember, Putin's cousin, 
is Jewish. He's Jewish himself. And when he overthrew the oligarchs in Russia, he was only overthrowing the Jewish oligarchs that were the secular. And then the Chabad organization got into power instead. So don't, don't kid yourself. All these people are actors. They're all working together to bring about what looks like a Gog of Magog war. And I can't say that this is not actually what the prophet saw when he saw the Gog of Magog war. Uh, we just don't got the narrative where he says they stage it in order to bring it about. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Please share the video. Go back to the one we did yesterday. It is literally uh, really moving forward. A lot of people have been sharing it, reposting it, etc. Uh, please do so. We need to get the truth out to the world before the mainstream media turns this into a big circus uh, in the first place there. And, and sadly, and I really want to say this too sincerely, my heart and condolences and prayers go out to these innocent Israelis that have been killed. Now, even innocent Palestinians that are going to suffer at the hand of what Hamas has done uh, because as this carpet bombing is being done in the Gaza Strip, how many lives and families, just like the innocent lives of the Israelis that were attacked and brutally murdered and savaged uh, in, in Israel uh, in the last two days there, all this was a crime against humanity. Uh, and now the same thing is going to happen inside of Gaza and no doubt the West Bank as well. You know, there's going to be a lot of innocent people that suffer at the hands of a very crooked government and a crooked Hamas and as we pointed out and shared in the video yesterday too, Hamas being a creation of the state of Israel to, uh, to try to, uh, uh, to counterbalance the PLO, you know, so the, all the truth is coming out. And of course, these things have already been made public. Ron Paul put that out uh, years ago, how Israel actually created Hamas to overthrow the PLO. And so we're trying to get you right down to the very bare minimum of what's really going on in Israel, and we'll continue to bring you updates about this war as it unfolds. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.